Morning guys, it's Saturday morning, 23rd. Just a short vlog today. Um, I've had a couple of messages to say, are you going to the big meetup on the 24th down in Portsmouth? The answer at the moment is, I hope so. Uh, the problem I've got is that the forecast tomorrow for this area is a huge band of thunderstorms moving up from the south towards the Midlands. Um, I know it was going to be clear of Portsmouth by uh, about 9, 10 o'clock-ish, but I'm not sure what time it's around here. Now, I, I don't t mind getting soaked on the way home, but I don't really want to get soaked on the way down and spend all day in sort of wet textiles or whatever. So, um, my original plan was to meet blah de blah Elliot Reed and a few other guys at the Sainsbury's on the A3 M25 intersection at 9. Now, from me, that means leaving about 7 in the morning. And my guess is that 7 in the morning is when that uh, band of thunderstorms is coming through this area. So what I might do instead, in fact what I will do instead, is I'm going to go directly to Portsmouth, which means I don't have to leave. It's still two and a half hours from me. It's about 100 and, I don't know, 130 odd miles, depending on which route I take but I will be going directly to Portsmouth, which means I don't have to leave till about nine, which gives that weather front a chance to get out of the way. Now, it may not, and if it doesn't, if I wake up and it's thunder and lightning or heavy storms outside, then I probably won't be going down and meeting you guys, which is unfortunate because I'm prepared for it. I filled both bikes up, in fact, because I'm not sure which one I wanted to take. But it, it, if it's uh, really bad, I won't be going, so... But I'll, I'll make a decision tomorrow. But just for the benefit of blah blah and uh, Elliot Reed, uh, I won't be going to the Sainsbury's because I can leave a bit later if I go straight there. So that's what I'll do. and gives me a chance to see what the weather's like. The other thing I want to talk about this morning is naming your bike. There's a few vloggers out there done some vlogs on a name for their bike. Now... I'm going to upset a few people here because I've never done it and I don't see I don't see why you do it. Now I can understand naming your cat, naming your dog or your kids. Notice I left them last. <laughs> but naming your bike, I'm not sure. Um, you don't name other machines or other things, do you? You don't name your fridge. You know, you don't sort of say, well, uh, I'm popping it in the kitchen to put some cream in Alice. It's not done. So I don't know, I've never I had a Bonneville for a little while, Triumph Bonneville. And I called it Bonnie, but that was just short for Bonneville. There was no uh it wasn't Bonnie as in I'm going I'm going out on the Bonnie, it's just a nickname for a Bonneville. And I don't I don't know, I mean the other thing is, of course. If you did name your bike, what to call it? Now, with kids, it's easy. I mean, what most people do if you've got kids is you come up with a load of names, you choose ones you like, and then you start ruling the ones out that remind you of people you don't like, or members of the family, or ones that might upset one side of the family if you call your child that. And you, the child eventually ends up with the names that you're left with. Now, my, uh, my kids are in their 20s now, and uh, I explain that to them, and I, I say, um, my son, Cuthbert, and my daughter, Pocahontas, I explain that's how they got, <laughs> they got their names, and they understand that, so that's good. The other thing is, you have got a bit of a problem if you name your bike. If someone overhears you discussing what you've done over a weekend or something like that. I mean, for example, if I decided to call my Harley uh, Haley, Haley the Harley, just take the R out, Haley, see what I did there? Imagine me standing chatting to someone and someone else over here in the conversation. He said, uh, oh, what'd you do this weekend then? Well, most of the weekend uh, I spent on uh, Hayley. Yeah? 
Yeah, what was that like? Well, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, she's a bit noisy, and uh, I nearly fell off once. But uh, no, it's good, it's good. She, you know, tends to get benefit out of me riding quite hard. I, th I think that's, uh, that really helps. Oh, good, yeah. And um, the only other thing I've noticed is that um, sometimes it gets a little bit hot and uh, a bit smelly. But when I get home, I just wipe her down with a sponge and uh, she's fine. So um, <laughs> I could have taken that a lot further, but I'm not going to. But coming back to it, naming your bike, I don't know. I've, I've never done it. Um, never, I've, it's not that I don't feel affinity with my bike. I don't. Um, I, I sort of do. I, I, I. They are one of my treasured possessions. I suppose we call it. I think all of us would agree that if you lost your bike, you know, you wouldn't be nice. But I don't think I would give it a name. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you tomorrow. I hope that weather, that band of thunderstorms actually clears the Midlands in time. If it doesn't, if it hangs around till sort of 10, 11 o'clock here, then it's no point in me riding down because it's going to take me two and a half hours to get there. So uh, if I don't get there, you guys have a really good time and I'll, I'll really try hard to make the next one. If I do get there, I'll see you. And if you're a rider, you ride safe. If you're not a biker, then be safe. And I will catch you soon.